and good morning. I just got up and did my makeup. It's fairly quick and probably the fastest and most natural has ever been for the longest time. So I'm gonna show you the updated makeup routine and the steps and all the products I use. When you wake up, first off after washing your face, it's always time to moisturize and put down some SPF. But after I went to Florida, I have no idea where my invisible shield went and it's worrisome because I'm gonna go on vacation next week and I have to get a new sunscreen, I guess. So I just go right to foundation and this is the Dior Air Flash spray foundation that they sent me to review. And, oh, funny thing, I'm actually wearing a Dior vintage nightgown right now as well. And I wanted to try it out because I thought it would be much quicker and cleaner as opposed to using a brush for my fingers to apply it. So I have to shake this for five seconds. And then for the quick natural application, you hold it 12 inches away or 20 inches and just go in a zigzag. And make sure you exhale, including right after you use it, there's still a lot of airborne particles. It smells like sunscreen, that's what it reminds me of, like when I go to the pool during summer, but there's no SPF listed on here. And if you need more direct coverage, you can either spray it on a brush or spray it right on your face. But I realized that this shade is a little lighter than I am. It's 200 light beige, and I might be beige, and especially after I tan, definitely not gonna be this shade. And as you'll come to see, my routine really revolves around this one eyeshadow palette. I take my eyeshadow brush and I mainly dip it into this orangey coral color and a tiny bit into the burgundy on the right. And this is how I make my eyebrows match with my hair. And I notice that I have a lot more eyebrow hair in the inner parts and the outer is more sparse. So I put more burgundy over there and less burgundy where there's more hairs. And I would assume originally that my eyebrow color would be just this color because it kind of looks like my hair but when you put it down it looks a lot darker and especially for the inner corners where I like to blend it I need to put a little more burgundy because there's like virtually no hair there so it's gonna look too bright orange if I just leave it naked next I just keep the same brush and I use more of the orange and I go right to my eyeshadow this is what makes my routine so quick these days. I focus it on the outer corners, but make sure that it's not too top heavy. So I take the more pomegranate shade and bring it towards the bottom. This palette by NYX has multi finishes, as you see. So the matte was for my eyebrows because you don't want it to be sparkly. And then for my lids, I love to use the glittery ones. And then next, the big game changer is concealer. I've been using the Kat Von D Locket concealer for a while, and my shade is Neutral L15. And I used to put it almost everywhere on my face, but I really don't think it's so necessary these days. I mainly just focus it on my dark circles because that's what makes you look super tired or kind of sick. I have like a little random pimple right here. That and then here under the nose is a nice area to cover up. The Dior foundation leaves my skin kind of dewy and reflective. And I like that on certain days. And when I don't, I use the Wowder by Glossier just really quickly because it's this light finishing powder and it just takes away the dew. The only downside about this product is that it's very not travel friendly. It needs to be on a flat surface in order for the powder to come out at the right amounts or else when I had it in my bag, it would just tip over and all the powder would come out on the surface, making it very hard to apply the correct amount with the brush and then it just gets everywhere. The next thing I do is take loose powder and apply it with my finger onto the balls of my eyelids and kind of bring it into the inner corner and this bright orange color just adds dimension along with the coral that I already put down and I think it's really nice because the eyeshadow before was glimmery but nothing compared to this loose powder. Then moving on to highlighter, this is the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow and look at how broken up it is. I have two of these and the first one broke so I was trying to be careful with this one as well and it breaks too. I think it's just the formula makes the 
pigment very loose, which is good when you apply it, but then the bad part is that it's all over the place. I even fixed it with rubbing alcohol once to make it all smooth again, and then it cracked again, so I'm just very careful when I open this up. I just rubbed the extra on my chin. While I got my eyeshadow palette still here, I just used a residue of my brush to kind of make my nose a little peachy, as if I have a runny nose and I've been sneezing a lot. Bronzer is next. Yes, I still use this very old one that's probably expired. I will get a new one as soon as I finish all of these ones. Yeah. If you guys have any recommendations for your favorite bronzer, please tell me. I prefer matte ones. Also, just bring it down over here. And then lastly, I like to dab it right here. Then, now that I have the gist of my face makeup down, I'm coming back with a brow pencil and defining my brow mainly the edges to get the arc and then very importantly the tail point you can see it just fizzles out right here follow the top of the brow and then it curves down to meet the bottom edge and that's where i decide the point is <laughs> put a little more in the front because i want the color to match i've tried looking around for an auburn eyebrow pencil or something that's more like my hair, but I haven't really found one either. So I just stick with this for now. And sometimes when I overdo the brow pencil and it darkens my brow too much, I just go back with the eyeshadow and I use only the orange to just lay it right on top. And if you're wondering, I have tried a routine where I first use eyebrow pencil and then I color it in with eyeshadow. It does not work. It doesn't look good mainly because it looks really fuzzy. So, tried and true. So all that's left is lips and blush, basically just putting some color into my face. And this is the Marc Jacobs blush in the shade, Kink and Kisses. And I put it right underneath my highlighter on top of some of the bronzer. And now the last thing is lip color. You can see that my lips are pretty pale. This is just how they naturally are. And other than that, I can wear a nude lip or a pink one. This look is pretty versatile. But as for my everyday routine, I have been using just this lip stain by YSL and it's a vibrant red orange. And I chose this because I wanted to match my copper hair and just the warm tones of my makeup look overall. And there are two ways to apply it, either naturally or more dramatic. But on the days where I don't want to worry about about messing up the application as much, I just put it in the center of my lips and then kind of blend it outwards. Oh, I need lip balm. This is super pigmented, you can see just a tiny bit already made it so colorful and it's a stain but it does come off when you use a napkin or your fingers to wipe it off but the point being why I like this is that it really makes you feel like there's nothing on your lips at all or when I just want to use the lip stain for that solid look because it works too I have to remember to start on the top because I used to just apply on the bottom and then press my lips together but it would print the same up here and then make my cupid's bow disappear and it'll look really odd. Kind of outline the cupid's bow and then print it down. You can see how vibrant it suddenly became. It's like a red lip, but I kind of like the natural look that I did first. I just wanted to show you both in case you're curious about the product. I'm just gonna fix my bangs really quickly in the morning. This is the same diamond flat iron that I tell you heats up super quickly. Yeah, it's already hot. Just like to make them more curly, because when I sleep on them, it gets flat. I like to call this my mustache bang, because it looks like a really big mustache. And we're done. This is my everyday makeup recently. I haven't been wearing any eyeliner or mascara, so it's been very convenient and fast. It really only takes 15 minutes if I'm not talking or being distracted. Let me know if you try this out or tag me in any of your photos. I would love to see and also chit chat with you down in the comments. Even though I don't always reply to them, I love what you share with me and what you say, so I try to read every one of them. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next vlog. I'm gonna put it up before my spring vacation. I'm not gonna have internet when I go so I will definitely see you then thank you so much for everything you do and I really appreciate that you spend your time here have a wonderful rest of your day or your night happy spring much love